Hi, St. Lucia. Good morning to you. I am Shayla Mendez. Are you ready for more of this morning? Because I know I'm sure ready. And right now, I'd like to introduce our special guest today, a young entrepreneur, lady pioneering in the industry of making memories. We have Zelita Weeks. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to have you here because I do know this lady personally and didn't realize that she had such a blooming talent, I should say. So it's all about Z's cards. And you know, we're closing off the month. Month. We're looking forward to the month of love and we want to make things special. So Z, tell us the concept behind your business, Z Cards. Okay, well Z's Cards, it actually is a it's a card business, greeting cards, and um, we actually aim at being just very innovative with greeting, greeting cards. So what we actually set out to do is, that ch is to change the way people actually view greeting cards. I know a lot of people believe like a card, you know, people just throw it away when you give it to them. But what we want to do is to add some more creativity and, uh, you know, a little bit of innovation as well so that persons get a, a way to pretty much express themselves differently. So this is what Z's Cards is all about. We actually cater for all occasions and uh, we personalize the card as well. So if for instance you are looking for a card to perhaps express uh, maybe a bit of an apology to someone, we can actually customize it, get the name of the person, put your name in there, add your words, your own design. If you have an idea in mind of what you want to put on the card, we can actually put it and design it for you. There are persons out there who sometimes just don't know how to express something they want to really say. And, uh, you know, it could be as simple as congratulations or happy birthday or even like a friendship card, you know. I mean, really just expressing, uh, being a little more sentimental about the way you feel about a situation. Then this is what we actually aim at doing. Adding that, you know, that genuine, you know, and again, something a little different mm -hmm. to a greeting card. So... All right, so where did this idea come about from? Because, like I said, I know how we used to previously work together, yeah. and I, I would have never thought out of all the things we discussed with our time together that you had this talent up your sleeve. I know, I mean, I didn't either, to be honest. I know that, that I've always been a very creative person, but I never knew that I could even, I had that hidden talent. Mm -hmm. So pretty much, I think it was just really out of trying to get a card for somebody one day, and I visited, you know, the normal, the stores and everything to get a card. And I just felt like it was a bit boring, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It was just a card, you know. And so I kind of thought, well, I feel like maybe people should be able to do more with a card. And you don't want to give somebody something that they're just going to dispose of eventually. So, you know, after a while, I just figured, you know what? I think we can actually do something about that. And this is where the idea came up to, how's about we create cards that persons can now customize and really put their, put more feeling into it. You know, like persons could now have a card that has a picture in there, you know, so that right. somebody could now have more as a portrait mm -hmm. and still have like some inspirational words in there, you know, that sort of thing. Or if you want to say, I'm sorry to somebody, that's another big thing. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you've hurt someone, your partner, or even a friend, and you want to say sorry, but you don't want them to like, you know, just, you know, throw it away or something. Then this is where the whole having the card comes in. So... Yeah. Now, good stuff. One thing I want to point out, because we've been seeing a lot of your designs showing as we've been speaking, um, but I know you wanted to highlight your personalized cards with the pictures. So let's talk about that, the concept, how you create it, and of course, what it offers for us. Absolutely. Um, well, especially with Valentine's Day now, you know, vastly approaching, it's like literally in a couple of weeks, um, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of show St. Lucians, you know, a different way of approaching it. I know, you know, like, the whole theme of Valentine's is just about romance, you know, and that sort of thing. But, you know, in the past years of really making cards for Valentine's Day, a lot of people are now not just about the whole romantic side. Persons actually just really want to express their genuine love to somebody. It could be a family member, even to their kids. Mm -hmm. So I actually just have an example of one of the cards that I made for a mother to a daughter. Okay, so this was actually a mom you know, really expressing to her daughter how much she loves her and, you know, she really wanted something that the, the daughter could have, you know, just on her table or something. And this was actually a card that was made specifically for that. So the words are in there. 
and just open it up for you. So the words are in here as well, and uh, here is the picture. So with these cards, we can actually take the picture. All you do is provide us with the photo that you'd like to have on there, and we can actually place the photo on the card and still put in the words that you want to put in there. So at that point, that person definitely cannot throw this one away because it has a picture on it. So yes. Yeah. Now, these are the stories we love to hear. So, of course, you know, here's somebody who's discovered a hidden talent and clearly something that they love and enjoy doing. So, it's all about creating special memories. And you need to let everybody know how they're able to contact you. And, of course, I know you have an active social media page as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, to get in touch with Z's Cards, you can go on to Facebook. Um, it's at Z's Cards on Facebook. Um, also on Instagram, it's at Z's Cards as well. Um, you can also reach me via phone which is uh, 519-0567 and also as well if you just want to speak to me to have a card made a custom made card we usually do pop-up shops in the William Peter Boulevard and that's every Saturday so you can visit us there we usually directly in front of the Domino's Pizza um, area there so you can just reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to sit with you you know get an idea of the design you're looking for and put it together for you fantastic so this is officially a wrap these cards are lovely St. Lucia if you want to make a difference create something special then you know the lady to check so it's all about these cards and of course I hope somebody's going to be kind enough to surprise me and gift me this it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day you know any ran random day is a good day to give a Z's card <laughs>
in, you know, encouraging young individuals to participate as volunteers. I mean, we've had an overwhelming response this year with that. And then also giving back um, to our charity, which is um, well, our cause, um, raising funds for the Child Development and Guidance Center. And they have been as well with us from day one. So once, you know, we cover all our costs, um, we do give cash back to them. I'm happy you highlighted that because I feel a lot of people are not aware of that because personally I've had persons ask well is this charitable and I honestly didn't know but I knew I was doing it for personal fitness and like you said it really does make you feel happy but this year too when I was seeing like the press launch etc and I, I heard that I'm like you know all these years I've been doing it and I didn't realize that you know there is a charitable component and this to me even adds more value to it because I know I go out there and I feel good but then we're able to help you all you know go back and help you know St. Lucia. Exactly and and we really want to thank our you know our partners and sponsors this year because they have come on board in a big way and I think it has to do with the fact that we've shown that we're here to stay and it's also a milestone independence anniversary for St. Lucia so we are really thinking that once you know we get our numbers up to where we want it to be you know um, that we'll be able to do much more this year with that with that cause um, and the Child Development and Guidance Center they do such a great job at what they do I mean go you know google them you drop by and see what they do with the kids um, it's basically basically early in intervention for any developmental issues and um, you know once you catch these things from early on you're better able to equip the kids to contribute to society and that's what we want we want a healthy healthy sorry happy nation you know going forward so you need to come out you need to come out and register we're at the Baywalk Mall every Saturday we started last Saturday with a bumper registration to be quite honest um, so come out on Saturday we'll be there from 11 we also have registration at the Child Development and Guidance Center so that's an opportunity to go visit them as well as Shoe Rehab in the JQ Mall and in the Gable Woods Mall and uh, Henna St. Lucia which is in the Baywalk Mall but we the team so come out and meet us interact with us you know see what we're about um, we'll We'll be there at the Baywalk Mall by the clock tower every Saturday from 11 a.m. All right, perfect. So how much is registration cost and of course what is our official date? Right, our official date is 24th of February which is the Sunday after the actual independence holiday. It's a long weekend guys, take note. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and um, it's actually $40 regular registration and $25 for children under 12. However, if you come in groups of 10 and more, we're going to give you $5 off each registration. So. Ah. Bring your crew, bring your family. You know what, and, and that's what it's all about. You cannot do the color run, and you know, I mean, you can and come by yourself, because most likely you're going to join somebody's crew because you're going to see people you know, but come out with your friends, your family, full force so you can represent. And you know what I like? I always like being themed. Like one year, you know, there's a whole bunch of us with tutus. Another year we had neon tights and, you know, gloves. And so you can make it what you want. Be as outrageous as you want to be. You guys know I'm daring, so I always look for the next best wild thing to do. So yep, I think yep. that's the fun of it. I, I want to actually highlight that because this year we're not going to be in Lent guys it's actually going to be leading up to Trinidad Carnival I'm Trini I like a bacchanal right um, so come out as Sheila said in your garb you know represent your personality represent your crew if you guys are into neon you know crazy socks crazy hats even you know crowns come out um, we have a lot of people interested for their um, their business houses so I think we're gonna see the likes of Digicel one of our main sponsors with lots of Digicel team members on there it's a great way for team building you know and creating that camaraderie within your organization whether it's a social club or a, a business house All right. so St. Lucia I don't think I need to tell you anything more. I've lived it, I've experienced it, and I'm not going to miss it this year. God spare my life. So you better be there. And of course, what are the social media handles? That way we can all stay up to date with what's happening. Definitely. So we're on uh, I Instagram, IG, dash color run 758. So it's as simple as that, Dion. Thank you so much for coming through. Definitely. I think, thank um, you for having me. And, you know, congratulations on the five-year celebration. So we're going to start it off early, St. Lucia. Don't be late. Make sure you register. Follow the pages so you can stay in the know. And we will see you at Dash 2019.
everybody welcome back to this morning thank you so much for staying locked on and trust me we will not disappoint you now this is a point in time where I want to enlighten you about a movement maybe you already know about it maybe you don't but this is what we aim to do here on this morning and bring things into the light especially when it's really good causes great movements and it's about Amy's gift to St. Lucia and I'm very thrilled to have the chairperson here with us so I have Bridget McNamara how are you today my love I'm fine thank you Chayla and thanks for inviting me well, I am so happy that you're here with us today and I must say you look very very lovely I'm, I've been admiring like your pearl earrings and your necklace so you know it's very fitting I think with our entire setting so we look like we're ready to start off the day the right way don't okay, you think I think so definitely <laughs> good stuff so you're the chairperson for Amy's gift to St. Lucia uh, I recently discovered this and I know you guys aim to do a lot of great things here so tell us about um, really what is the aim of this organization Okay, we were set up by the Amy Winehouse Foundation. They're a group from England. And you may remember that Amy Winehouse used to come to St. Lucia a lot. Yes. I think it was probably one of the places where she was happiest. Yes. So after her very tragic death, um, we were looking really to set up a musical program at the Boys Training Center and at Donata. And we understood that the Amy Winehouse Foundation looked at setting up projects for kids at risk. So we put in an application to see if they would fund us with this musical program and they agreed. So five years ago they gave us the money to buy all the musical instruments and to pay the music teacher's salary for one year. So we were able to provide music tuition at Donata and at the Boys Training Centre for one year and then for the, the next four years, because we're now in our fifth year, we have, they have remained as our principal sponsor. Um, giving us about a quarter of what we need every year and we fundraise the rest. What has the journey been like? I mean to be established for five years I think that is really something major and it, it says a lot for the organization as well. Um, well it's a, it's, a nice, it's a lovely project because you can actually see the difference that you're making in these children's lives. I mean if you take, take first Donata, um, the children have an immense enjoyment in making music mm -hmm. and if you take the children who are in the multi-disability there, there are two units at Donata mm -hmm. that so there's the multi-disability disability unit where the kids are profoundly disabled they've got cerebral palsy yeah. some of them can't speak some of them don't have a lot of use of their limbs and so on and we have a very gifted music teacher called John Paulius who the music community know as Aza okay. and I know him Right. And he's really amazing with these children. And you can, you can tell that they can actually feel the reverberations. We, we purchased an enormous drum. It's called a Remo gathering drum. Mm -hmm. So when you beat it, you can, you can feel the reverberation. You know, it's that sort of sound. <laughs> and you can see these children feeling it. And then they can play the, um, what's that, a tambourine. You know, they can play the, these instruments, they can play percussion, some of them, and they get immense enjoyment out of it. And then the other, the other side of Donata, where we have the band, it's a great thing really for the children's self-confidence and their self-esteem. They, they play every other week at a hotel, so one week they're at, Donat, at um, Rendezvous, and then the next week they're at Belgeau. They, they go to cruise ships, they play on the cruise ships, they were chosen by her Excellency Dame Perlette to play at Government House for Prince Harry. So, you know, it's, it's amazing for them because they're getting public recognition. And it's the same with the boys at ba Boys Training Centre. Uh, you know, Boys Training Centre, it's, it's, a, it's a very joyful thing making music. And they get, the, it's fun, they get enjoyment. Um, but then they also get public, you know, the public, applause which mm -hmm. is very valuable so they they play at Odsin um, church they play at lots of the government ministries functions how does it feel for yourself and your team just seeing the great things that are coming out of these kids giving them this sort of opportunity well I think it has been a really rewarding experience for us all um, and I think that the principal of Donata Antonia appreciates it as does Mr. Sonson at um, the BTC. So, you know, it's, it's rewarding. I can't, it's, it's, it's been a great, a great experience actually. <laughs> and may I ask, how 
big or small is your team? There are about five of us. Really? It's very small. Wow. <laughs> so how are you guys able to support some of these projects, um, you know, and get them off the ground? Well, we fundraise. If, is that what you mean, the financial yes. end of it? We fundraise, we do lunches. Um, my colleague who you'd also met, she's English, so she does fundraising in England. We do fundraising in St. Lucia. And then, as I said, we have this donation that we get every year from the A.B. Winehouse Foundation, which is, is great because it's kind of our bedrock and we just build on it. You know, this is very amazing and this is why St. Lucia had to make sure I, I pulled out this story because I always say when I discover something or stumble upon something that I don't know, somebody out there doesn't know as well. So it's always great for us to know. And when it's things that are more meaningful, we see all the gloom and doom highlighted. So we need to push out a lot more of the positive things. So that way, you know, you wake up and you feel a little bit happier. So I really would like to thank you again for being here with us, Bridget. And I know you all have a website. So if you'd share how persons can reach out and contact if they okay. want to support. Well, before I do that, I just want to thank you because great publicity for us and thank you very much. You're welcome. And the website is Amy's Gift St. Lucia. That's stlucia.org. So if you want further information, head over to the website. You can find out, you can contact them through there. If you want to support, volunteer, because I'm sure, you know, anybody willing to give up their time is always welcome. Thank so you. it's all about, again, Amy's gift to St. Lucia. And Bridget, thank you again. Amazing chair lady. And so we're sending you some really good positive vibrations today, St. Lucia. So go out and have an amazing day. So with that said, everybody, this wraps up this morning, and I'm feeling really, really good. So I want to thank you again for joining us. We're still going to have more in store. Check us out on YouTube. It's DBS Morning Show. And until then, keep being loyal, and we'll keep being number one, and we'll see you later.